Thank you for being with us on Diaspora Lounge on this topic. Now, we want to talk about Cora Obidi. If you don't know her, Cora Obidi has a problem right now with her ex-husband, who is asking her to not put the children on social media. When she was married to the husband, they used to, together, record themselves online, live, and even with their children. She dances, she, she dresses fancily, showing her body, and the husband didn't have a problem with it. But now he's asked for her to not use the children and he's stopped her from using the children and posting them online. What I want us to talk about now is not necessarily Cora herself, but things that she's been doing and the situation that she's currently in right now, and also regarding bringing children up. You know that we have a lot of family-centered topics on this channel because family is the biggest influence on us as people and as a society on the whole. And that's why these conversations are important. Onye, do you want to give Coco a little bit of a background? Oh, okay, so I, I'm not the Cora expert, <laughs> but I'm on social media and, you know, I noticed this young lady with this very flexible body, she dances. Her dancing can be said to be provocative. She's um, almost always semi-nude, right? And then her, her dancing can be said to be provocative. Well, depending on how you look at it. Um, I, I think she's flexible. And I think that if she, she was here and she was up, offering dance classes, honestly, I would go. I'm not even joking about that. I would go. But um, however, then she she got married to this white man. I'm I'm not sure how she said they met. I, I don't follow her that much yet. But then she got married to this white man, a doctor. I think he's a chiropractor or something. And she goes to join him in the US. And um, she she has two children. And, and then they fall out. They begin to have serious problems, and they get divorced. And um, um, I, I hear things about her saying he threatens her. He comes up online, says things about her. She does videos too. And um, mo most recently, the, the man asked, um, he sent a case, he sent a complaint or something, filed a complaint to Meta, you know, Facebook, um, to ask Cora to stop posting his children. Because um, I've seen a couple of videos that she posts them, right? Not, I don't know if she posted, if she posts them in any provocative kind of way, the videos that I've seen are really are normal looking, like, you know, like I have children, I baby say hi, you know, that sort of thing. And um, so he said, and she comes up to say, please, I need a lawyer to fight my husband. He's fighting because he has power and she opens a GoFundMe. And I hear people contribute up to 50K USD. And, and then she takes it to go to vacation on Hawaii, as I hear. I don't know. It's just a lot of things, but, you know, social media. Yeah, so Coco, you've been caught up. <laughs> So is there okay. something I didn't say? <laughs> I'll just say that uh, she said that she didn't, um, and this is possible, that she didn't use the money. In fact, people are saying that GoFundMe doesn't function like that, that if you put up a GoFundMe for a specific reason, and for this, she, she wanted people to help her to raise the money so that she can use it to pay a lawyer to fight the ex-husband. So people are saying that you can't touch the GoFundMe and use that money to do something else, so that the money that she used for her trip is probably not from the go for me. And she also came up and said that. I saw that, I did see that, that that's not, that she already had that that trip planned before all this happened. And she had the dates already. So we're going to take it that she didn't take money from the go for me, right? But yes, a lot of people sent her money to help her to fight the lawyer because she has a lot of, she has a huge fan base. So mm -hmm. what, what um, I'm really thinking that, let's talk about it. She has a huge fan base. She, this girl is Nigerian, and from our culture, we don't, we, this is like something that is, it's no longer foreign, because a lot of people are doing this now, exposing ourselves, exposing our bodies, and putting ourselves online. And she's doing this, this is her source of income, putting herself online in this way, and a lot of people flock there. And there are also a lot of women in her fan base. So because you would think that women would frown against this, but she has a lot of women who I am seeing online supporting her and even fighting people who are speaking against her. And they're like, leave her, let her live her life. What she's doing is her source of income. Allow her to do it. I'm very proud that I contributed to her GoFundMe. And I will contribute again if she calls me tomorrow. And then 
um, people are like, well, there are people who actually need money, who are poor, who can't even eat, and you are spending your money funding Cora so that she can continue putting herself half naked online. And as a woman, mm -hmm. aren't you ashamed of supporting this type of behavior? So I thought that I don't want us to, uh, we're not here to, you know, talk about Cora. I want to talk about the image of what she represents and for our society and for the children. What does it look like? We're in an era where people say, mind your business and allow the person to mind their business. Once upon a time, it was that it takes a village to raise a child. Is it now a thing where we should mind our business and allow people to do as they want to? Coco. Okay. <laughs> To, to 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 be honest, if you ask me what I Coco think, know let, Cora, but you have the background. No, I, I I don't know, and I'm glad I don't because um <laughs> I don't need. Can, can yeah, you take a look at your um, phone? I sent you some pictures, so you've seen the pictures, right? Because I this I, I, picture, think, I think I saw the pictures. She has um, her legs spread like this. The husband, the ex husband, <laughs> had her at one time with the legs spread, and I saw a picture where she she's like this with her legs spread and she's smiling <laughs> like that. You know, so it's not just dancing provocatively. And then this other one, she's completely naked. But we don't see her crotch. We see the breast, but they are painted. And she's completely naked. Nothing is covering the nipples except paints and all that. So the body is exposed. So you've seen those pictures, and now you have the story. So what say you? I, I, I did say that, you know, as much as I'm very conservative, if not extremely, I happen to be one of those extremely tolerant conservative people as in i do not see the reason why a woman can't express herself if she wants to provided she's doing it within the bounds of decency you know it's all about the way i mean I, i'm i'm 52 i still i no longer wear like really really short 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 dresses but i do have some short dresses that i wear and i know where I wear them too um I wouldn't, okay, I'm wearing a turtleneck, but it's not like, because of the aesthetics of it, really, and not because of a cover-up, because I believe that a woman should show a little bit of flesh. Now, that's me, right? So most of my clothes, like I said today, I, I wore this, the green jacket, because my bag is the same green, and so sort of like I made an effort. Ordinarily, my everyday dressing, I would not deliberately, you know what I mean. I, I wouldn't like leave my boobs hanging out or anything, but I wouldn't be, I, I don't criticize people that when they dress, I think is very feminine to just a little bit of cleavage. It's not even a teasing kind of cleavage, if that makes sense. No, you could see that the person has dressed that way, not that they even thought about it. It was effortless. But for me, there's a thin line between being feminine and being comfortable in your skin and being slotty. Mm -hmm. Now, is that thin line that you need to tread very cautiously on? Show me a bit of skin. I'm quite happy to see it. But please don't bring out all your boobs. I don't need to see it because you're now looking trashy, if that makes sense. Um, now, uh, so regarding her, I don't know her. I don't really. I, but I did see these pictures and I was wondering, hmm, who is it? And I was like, yeah, when I saw the breast one, uh, I, because of the, the painting on it, my first reaction is, oh, this is some work of art. Okay, that's my first reaction, as in they're trying to do acts here. Then I thought, maybe it's AI. Who would really do that? Then I'm like, okay, maybe some wannabe celebrity that is going about it in a kind of like funny, strange way. But I thought about it. Did I really see her nipples since she painted it? So all these thoughts. But when I saw the one that her legs were wide open like that, albeit that it wasn't like she was naked, she was wearing her pants or shorts or whatever, I said, okay. You're wearing your pants, you're wearing your shorts, but I think this is a bit stupid now. 
that's that was my first thoughts and i'm glad that i don't know her so it's not like i'm making these assessments based on mm, i've always hated her or i've always liked her so i just felt obviously that connotes sex okay so i felt mm, a bit borderline now this is looking a bit too cheap that's me right i felt in all honesty that she could have still connoted sex if she wanted to that's her life but in in a in a much more sort of decent classier way do you understand mm -hmm. i i, I mm -hmm. don't know which other way but i still wouldn't have minded her assuming she wanted to do the sexy thing with sex on her mind or any guy's mind but in a classy way I felt doing like that. I was like, yuck. Okay. But you know what? Overall, to be honest, if this were like we had pre discussed this topic, it's certainly not something I would even because that's like promoting her, you know, giving her relevance. And that's oh. what they see. They, they're attention seekers. You've got to understand that they thrive on publicity, they thrive on attention. Yeah. What we're doing is exactly what she wants us to do. So I don't discuss people like that because you're actually doing what they want you to do. They want to be in the media. <laughs> yeah, I want to know, are we approaching this topic, you know, from the moral point of view, like you have children or something? I just want us to remember that not, not everyone is bound by the, I don't know, the moral codes that you're bound by, right? Yeah. And sex sales, one is the highest grossing industry. We cannot run away from that. It yeah. is what, what it is. is. Yeah. What porn, is? Porn, the porn industry. Oh, it's the highest okay. grossing industry. Yeah. I, I mean, she, she has all these hmm? Is she into porn? I yeah, don't know. Porn, I, I don't know that she is. Yeah. I don't know that she is, but I'm just saying that, you know, um, all that, she has all these followers. I mean, I, I mean, no, no, not even honest people have people who can come together and bring uh, and, and contribute up to 50K USD for them. So that is to show you how much what she's doing sells. Yeah. right so are we what are we here talking about because if we are talking about the, the moral code we are bound by is she also bound by that code because if she's not really let me address first of all about the moral code yes you're right she may not be bound by the moral code as Coco mentioned the other time everybody knows what is good and what is bad right so even if you are somebody who is into porn and things similar you do know that this is not something that's is good even though you say to yourself all sorts of things to justify it i had a conversation with someone yesterday and the justification was i'm not doing anything wrong by doing things like this because this is just sexual pleasure i'm making myself happy and if i do something like killing or stealing from someone else then we can start talking about me doing something wrong but where it comes to sexual pleasure I'm not looking at it as something that is all that bad. Or here is um, one thing that I'd say. When we think that all these things don't matter, these are the things that are plaguing us. If you talk to anyone who has engaged in pornography for long enough, you can even go and do that research online by yourself if you listen to this. You will see that this is causing a lot of destruction. The reasons why we have constitutions we have the holy books quran bible and all those things instructing us on things that we should and shouldn't abide by aren't necessarily to keep us just in check they are for our own good and you will find that when you go against those things that are suggested there is some punishment awaiting you somewhere ahead and i'm not talking about hell now in fact, we can even liken it to hell. It will be like hell on earth because we are by, by ourselves creating situations where we are going to get into painful experiences. For instance, if you have children now and you don't talk to your children about avoiding masturbation and stuff like that, I don't know if you've ever, because of, maybe because of, in fact, it wasn't just because of this. I have conversations with people now who in their marriages tell me that they cannot have proper sexual relations with their spouse because they have engaged so long 
in doing something by themselves. And so now, because they have seen unrealistic things in the things that they participated in, because they have gotten used to pleasuring themselves by themselves, they marry an innocent somebody, get into that relationship, and then that person starts to suffer because they now cannot fulfill their relationship the way they ought to. So it's almost as if when you've done this, do not even get married. Keep to yourself so that you can you don't punish the next person. Because oftentimes they cannot tell that partner that this is what is causing our problem. Because they don't want to open up and, and share that I made a mistake or I've been enjoying myself this way and now I cannot do this with you. And if we don't realize these things, you see, the family is the single unit that influences a person before they get out there in the world. And if you have issues with the family, we are now just breaking the society in little, little bits in different ways so that when we encounter all these problems, because, you know, a married person who has marital issues is not going to function at the same um, optimum le optimal level as somebody whose marriage is smooth. So everything that we do that affects the family and destabilizes us comes back to the society. When that person is in the society and they're acting out from their pain, it's everybody who is feeling it. So I'm not even speaking from a moral angle. I'm speaking from just a matter of fact about the effects of the things that we do. So now the women who jump and say things like, allow the person to live their life. Sometimes, is it possible that they are either like, you know, when you've done something for so long, even though you recognize that what you're doing is wrong, you may get to a point where like, okay, I've done it, I've done it. So now you just want to just ignore the facts and tell yourself that it's, it's okay, I've done it. You don't even want to deal with what you've done. You, you know, you've created chaos for yourself and you're just like, allow people to just leave because you don't even want to deal with your own situation of what you have done, what you have created and own up to the fact that you know that you've done something wrong. Because, and if, and maybe you don't recognize that this is part of what is causing a problem for you. So maybe you don't, it's two ways. And so I don't, I would not feel comfortable being a parent myself to allow something to happen where I will keep quiet and feel like it's their life, they should leave it. Because the more that you're exposed to something, the more children are exposed to stuff like this the more they will accept it as it's no big deal. You're constantly exposed to something, you get used to it, you don't see anything odd about it. And all these things are leaning towards sexual impropriety and sexual leanings that will create problems for young people, for their future, for their adulthood, for their relationships, and then for the society, and then for all of us at large. I'm a bit concerned, like, um... That there are things you can do by yourself for yourself, you know. These days, everyone says, I don't owe anyone anything. My life, my body, my choices, my everything. But I do think, and this is my opinion, that when children come into the picture, then it becomes really different. You have a, a very impressionable, I don't know, very impressionable little ones. I'm coming after you. They are seeing these things. They are seeing your squabbles with your husband. They are seeing all the mess you're creating on social media that is never going to go away anyway. And um, I, I, I just, what I'll just say is that whatever your beliefs are and all that, what well, of course you have the right to do whatever you want to do. But uh, I just think that when children come into the picture, um, you owe them, you owe them that. And you know, this, have you seen, have you watched, no, forget about movies. Have you even seen real, let's say, mafia people in the movies? They'll do all they do, kill the people. And they are protecting, their children are so shielded. They don't even know what their parents do for a living. I'm even going far with mafia. They, they're bad people, we know. We know some bad people. Let's not even pretend. They do all the things they do. We know who, who they're sponsoring. But somehow they shield their children. Why? Somewhere. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, to avoid them being exposed to all that, right? So I, I, I hear people, well, you know, when I watch movies and I see people who deal in drugs and they say the first through, don't, don't sort of consume your product, right? You can sell it to, to, to the Mughals there, but don't consume it yourself. Yeah, so there's a reason, you know, that, that this preservation is done. But like Coco said, um, 
this if she, if uh, i think we're just if she doesn't see it that way is there really anything we can do like i i are there really people who are looking upon her as a role model if there are okay then i think this conversation is very relevant but if it's just about her then yeah so it, that's what i just said that when people see this you get more and more used to it some of those women who are who are supporting her some of them will probably have children i, I i'm guessing you know you get to mm -hmm. a point where you you have blinded yourself by your own self deliberately because you really don't want to deal with that so now if you want to talk about Cora, i i have heard i saw that i i haven't gone to look at her page i have heard that and i haven't come across or if i have i don't remember coming across her with the children showing on the video where she is doing those very naked things i haven't seen those so i'm supposing that she probably doesn't do that just like you said she's not exposing them in, to that extent but is it the plan that this, these things will be wiped off by the time the children are now using social media or they will be there and i suppose that they will be there because if she wipes them off it will, it's going to affect the money that she makes from them because if the video was seen 10 times by the time the children are older the video would have been seen a hundred thousand times if you go and wipe it off you're not going to get that amount of money from it and this is what she does for a living well, another thing that I want to talk about is actually, I don't want to, I'm not coming to castigate her. And the reason is this, I don't like what she's doing, but what I'm thinking is this, we don't even know where she came from, but is it possible that maybe she grew up, this is that conversation that I was having yesterday, and this is what the lady was saying. Is it possible that maybe she grew up as one of those kids who had runny noses, who would run around, around in oversized underwear in the village, right because i think that even her family supports her you know her family supports her and so could it be that she's their breadwinner and she's the reason that they feed could it be that she came from a place where like i would have died if i didn't do this could it be that somebody told her you can do this maybe she was so hungry and someone said you can just do this you'll get money from this and so maybe it was a matter of last resort so now how can we now say to the person who has found a way to feed herself don't do this. Do you understand? So it, it, it's not that I, I'm just saying that if we think about it, we don't even know her journey and how she got there. So I'm a little careful in in not wanting to be like I'm being judgmental, even though it will sound like what I'm drawing attention to is the evils and the pain that we are going to get out of these things. But if we now want to narrow it down to the person who is doing it, I don't want to beat her because I don't know the kind of beating that she received before she got onto doing these things right but now that you've done this and you have gained some popularity there will be the fear that if i change it this is what i've been known for and this is the reason why i have this fan base so there'll be the fear that if i change it i may lose some of my fans so are we now mm -hmm. not crossing from hunger to just wanting extra because even if i continue showing myself and i'm not showing myself in exactly this way where I'm causing harm to people because this is causing harm, like I explained before. I certainly don't like attention seekers. I mean, <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. It's a way of making I mean, money. I, I, I like people that are extroverts and, and stuff because I'm one myself. But I, I, you know, when it starts going into being stupid for publicity, I, you've lost me there. I, I I just don't like attention seekers. I I love genuine stars. I love genuine extroverts. You know, people that are everywhere, here, there, and mm -hmm. everywhere. Trust me, I love all those people. But when I now that you are deliberately doing it to for the attention, because the thing it, is, it's maybe for money, stupid. maybe not just the attention. Maybe it's for money. No, for, for the money, that's fine. But the thing is, you know, they now transcend into doing very stupid things. There's so many things you could do to be famous, really. Mm -hmm. You think even mm -hmm. on That's social media. Think. I'm not what saying carry the Bible. I'm not saying do a wear a suit, you know, and do a descent, even show a little bit of skin, you could still be famous. But please do something useful. Like I said, also, I will never discuss. I will never even give her fa fa five minutes of fame that she's been craving for. <laughs> not on my platform. Yes. And again, it reflects it, it affects us as women honestly because the idea that men have about women there's no way that this doesn't affect right because even now you hear people saying that all nigerian women are materialistic it's all about money whereas i know that it's not all about money for everyone you know but 
or because you see a lot of girls coming online and doing anything for money this idea even if i wasn't like that i may be influenced so it's affecting a lot of women and we don't even realize when we get into a relationship with someone and they are viewing us in a particular way that's because they have some preconceived notions about women it's part of it the other day a lady came i think i sent it to you guys when she said that she got duped by a man calling himself a pastor of so much so many millions and she said by herself that women have fish brains and i was like i don't know the women you're talking about but when a woman like that will say is when someone will say that by herself or women she actually has a fish brain for her to have done what she did and gotten duped in that way and she's now coming and making an announcement like that do you not know that many men and i got those messages many men will say look at it here you know she even knows that women have fish brains and so when you when you go and depict us like that now you're spreading your legs this way so and every day you see women coming and complaining about relationships with men but already we've given them the idea that we have such a sexually permissive society and behavior in 2024 where men can get sex as freely as as they can as they, they never could have before today so when we have all that why would you pay for a cow when you can milk it without taking it home do you understand so why would men now come and behave properly in relationships when to keep you i have to be reasonable and sensible i have to be i have to behave myself i don't need you because every day my my um, hormones are causing me to need to plug myself into something and i have a thousand people out there that i can plug it into when i see people like this spreading their legs out there and there are many other people who are copying it and doing those things and everybody's feeling so liberated sexually liberated and they're ready to do anything if there were 10 men who would have been behaving themselves so that they could keep Onye as a wife i'm going to think why why do i have to work so hard when i have so many people so many horrors and so many of them that i can just go to and they'll give it up to me freely you know i don't know that Cora is doing that i'm just saying that this encourages those kinds of behavior so at the end of the day it comes down to us maybe those women who are supporting this maybe they are so unattractive and i believe that they mm -hmm. must be unattractive and i don't i'm not talking about in in appearance i mean unattractive as people that maybe they've given up even on relationships or maybe they are lesbians i don't know what it is and so they, they they're not thinking as far as how this impacts us as women who want to have good relationships with men am i communicating with you yeah i, I, I see how you're like tying that. it in with every other thing we've been discussing yeah. on this channel but well the, that, that's societal problems which is I our think. own personal problems at the end of the day it yeah comes back to all of us yeah yeah mm. but at the end um I don't know it is what it is i hope that we can do better i just yeah. hope that we can do better yeah okay so that's it so we will close this topic now thank you for being with us on diaspora lounge and if there's anything that we've said here that makes sense to you that resonates with you that you can take home and share with other people maybe in upbringing for your children maybe with your friends anyone that you think that this can impact on positively like this video leave us your comments and share our content on that note, we end this episode. Thanks for being with us.